This year, we've had hundreds of conversations with maintainers and open source contributors. And I actually have a practice that I'm really loving right now, which is I personally spend a couple of hours every Friday having video calls with maintainers of big open source projects and small open source projects. Some of you I've talked to on Fridays before. It's become one of the favorite parts of my week for me. And it's also been, in combination with everything else we're doing, a really great way for us to learn from you about the challenges and the opportunities that you have in the open source world and how GitHub can serve you better. And so we have some pretty exciting news to unveil today. And to tell you more, please welcome Devin Zugel. Devin? Thanks. Thanks, Nat. Hi, I'm Devin, and I'm the product manager of the open source economy team here at GitHub. Our work is focused on maintainers and building tools for the open source community to thrive. As Nat showed earlier, we're all connected. The world runs on open source. None of it would be possible without the global team of maintainers, developers, designers, researchers, writers, and more who devote their time to pushing technology forward. Like the scientists on stage earlier today, each of us builds on the work of others. And each of the developers we depend on has a story. Let me introduce you to a few open source maintainers who've built software that you've likely used yourself. Meet Mariata. She's a Python core developer from Vancouver, and she has a ritual of taking an ice cream selfie after each conference talk she gives. <laughs> and here's Fatih. He's from Ankara, Turkey, and he's the creator of Vim Go. Fatih works from home, so when he needs a break, he gets to play with his adorable son, Alper. And meet Henry, who's based in New York City and left his job last year to work on open source full time. Henry is the maintainer of Babel, which is an NPM package that we use here at GitHub. It's these developers that make the GitHub community what it is. The strength of this connected community depends on the continued success of developers, just like Mariata, Fatih, and Henry. And at GitHub, this is the core of what we're about. We're here to support the humans behind human progress. In that spirit, we're thrilled to announce a brand new feature of GitHub. I'm so excited to share that today we're launching the beta of GitHub Sponsors, a new way to financially support the developers you depend on. I'm really excited too. Uh, this is a first step. The, the purpose of this beta is to get your feedback, and we're really excited to hear from you. So I bet you're just as excited as I am. So let's see how it works. To start, let's sponsor Mariata. We'll head to her GitHub profile, and you'll see there's a new sponsor button right on her profile. I'm a huge space nerd, so I think it's awesome that her contributions to Python played a role in creating the black hole image. When I see that button, I'm super excited that I can now show her my support. Clicking it takes me to her sponsorship page. Here, she gets to decide how to represent herself and how you can best support her. Now let's see this from Mariotta's perspective. When she goes to my profile, or when she sees my profile hover card, she will see a new call out that says your sponsor, so she knows I'm invested in her work. We've also built this into existing GitHub workflows so that it's seamless to support developers. I'm really excited about this because it'll surface developers that you can sponsor directly from the conversations where you collaborate with them. For instance, perhaps Fatih has been really helpful as I make my contributions to Vim Vimgo. Imagine I've merged my first PR into the project and I want to thank him for all his help. I can jump straight into the sponsorship page from the hover card on the PR. But maybe you want to support a project, not a person. To do that, we've also added support for a new file called funding.yaml that makes it easy to support the project however the maintainers see fit. When funding.yaml is added to a project's master branch, a new sponsor button will appear at the top of the repo. 
Clicking the button opens a natively rendered view of the funding links listed in that file. It can showcase the, sponsor, the GitHub sponsors profiles of the developers who contribute to the project, or it can also link to other popular funding models, including Open Collective, Community Bridge, Tidelift, and more. Open source is the heart of GitHub. The developers who build our shared digital infrastructure are what make this community so strong. As a thank you for these valuable contributions, GitHub sponsors charges zero platform fees when you support the work of other developers. We'll also cover payment processing costs for the first 12 months of the program to celebrate the launch. 100% of your sponsorship goes directly to the developer. GitHub Sponsors also supports payouts in all around the world in every country where GitHub does business. Over the course of the summer, we're excited to be working with Stripe to scale up this beta. We're all part of a global software team. Expanding opportunities to participate on that team is at the core of our mission, so we are proud to make this tool available to developers worldwide. Finally, many contributions that are crucial to a well-functioning project don't show up in code review. GitHub Sponsors is built for funding all types of work that advance open source software. Anyone who contributes to open source, whether through code, documentation, leadership, mentorship, design, technical writing. I could spend the rest of this keynote listing things that go into an open source project. All of those people are eligible for sponsorship. GitHub Sponsors is one more way to contribute to open source, financially supporting the people who build and maintain it. Starting today, any GitHub user can sponsor an open source developer in the beta. If you're interested in getting sponsored for your own work, you can apply at github.com slash sponsors. We're launching small and simple, but our mission is vast, to expand opportunities to participate in and build on open source. We're here to serve the developer community, and we're eagerly listening for your input for what you'd like to see in GitHub sponsors. We're really excited to hear from you. Thanks, and back to you, Nat. Great job. There you go. That was awesome. All right. Thank you, Devin. We are so excited about the launch of GitHub Sponsors and this new mechanism for supporting independent developers directly on GitHub. And we're equally excited to hear your feedback and learn how we can improve this program. So please let us know what you think. Now, Devin mentioned that one of the great features of GitHub Sponsors is that we cover all of your payment processing fees for the first year and that there are no platform fees, so that 100% of your contribution goes directly to the developer that you sponsor. And 100% is amazing, but we were thinking about it, and we realized that what's better than 100% is 200%. So with today's announcement, we've also created the GitHub Sponsors Matching Fund, where we will double your contribution to developers for the first year. This enables us to really jumpstart the GitHub Sponsors program and boost the contributions that you make while still giving you the empowerment and the freedom to choose who in the open source community you want to support. So we're really excited about this. OK, we covered a lot of ground today, so let's just step back and do a brief recap. Shanku talked to you about some of the new security features that we've released, including maintainer security advisories, security policies, and together with Gray, the acquisition of Dependabot, which we're really excited about. We've been saying internally that Dependabot is a little bit like a Roomba for your code. It just <laughs> kind of comes out and cleans it up for you. And then Dana showed you some new capabilities for enterprises, from enterprise accounts to internal repos to new roles, the triage and maintain role, which will be really useful for open source communities as well, and permissions and the organizational insights. And then we heard from Christian and Sebastian at Shopify about the best practices that they're using. And then Devin showed you GitHub sponsors, and we talked about the sponsors matching fund. Additionally, just two weeks ago, we announced the GitHub package registry which gives you a single place to store your code and your packages behind a single 
log in. And then coming up, later this summer, we will have some more news to share about GitHub Actions. As I mentioned before at GitHub, our mission is to build the global platform for developer collaboration. And that really means that our job is to serve you, right? To make your life easier, to make you more productive, to help you connect to the developers and contributors who make your work possible. So thank you for joining us this morning. We hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thanks so much.